Tony Stewart, how is this race car? Looks mighty fast. <laughs> if you think it's fast, if we ever get if we get it right, it's going to be bad fast. Then it's uh, it was a little bit loose that time. We're going to make some changes and, and get it tightened up. Talk to Zippy and the guys in the Home Depot team and. Uh, Monte Carlo is pretty fast right now. Okay, just straight 30 laps. This is where the pit crew, the guys on pit road, they just get to watch this segment. Green, green, green. Again, you want to be lead. I, I just think you want to get out front and hold them off. The problem is, how many are they going to invert? That's what some of these guys are asking themselves. Kevin Harvick in the 29, he got a pretty good restart. Looked like he wanted to peek to the inside, but boy, Tony Stewart, he comes off turn two. He shot out of a cannon. What a knot of cars this is. Whoa, well, hey, he's in trouble. You just mentioned it, Daryl. Yeah. And Gordon gets hard on the brakes. It gets through. And Jeff Burton just about had to come to a complete stop, the 99, to keep from getting into it. You can see there's just not enough. Jeff's trying to stay down on that white line, and he was sliding up just ever so slightly, and Sterling was not giving him a lot of room. Boy, Jeff Burke just barely got wow. stopped in 99. Jimmy Johnson, Kevin Harvick battle for second. Whoa. Boy, Jimmy, Jimmy Johnson, Johnson, Jimmy Johnson. 48, he got a runoff turn he did. two. He got back to the throttle in a hurry at turn two. The two brothers, Ward Burton in the 22, oh, Jeff Burton in the boy. 99. Jeff got down too low and coming off a two right there, and the car just broke loose with him. Oh, on the back. And it's Ward Burton. Caught the wall, guys. Caught the wall on the back stretch. Caution is out. Jeff Gordon right up behind him. Whoa, buddy. Oh. Yep. Yeah, Jeff gave him a little shot there. Possible miscue on Tony Stewart. Steve Gregson Fidelity said, what are you doing? I thought we said stay out. He hit the pit road anyway. I tell you, Tony Stewart's in trouble there. Uh, he very well could be. We have nine laps to go, and he's not made very much ground up right now. He's in the 18th position, and he's stuck behind a bunch of race cars. For the lead, Kurt Busch trying the bottom. That's been his lane of choice all evening long. He gets Harvick. Two great battles. We'll show you both. Yeah, Bobby oh, had about eight three laps fresher. Three less wide less tires. Three wide with Ryan Newman on the bottom. And Ricky Craven in the 32 at the top, and there's still three wide coming, coming off, coming off turn four. four. Somebody has to make it. No, no, no. There's no way to make it. Stewart made it. Ryan Newman didn't make it. Caution is out. Bang. Bang. There's no. I mean, I knew that wasn't going to work. And the defense. Yeah, who hit me? The defense. Right. Yeah, who hit me? <laughs> Everybody? No, no, Ryan. You, you can understand in a small way Ryan Newman's frustration because in the last four points events, four DNFs. This will be a fifth one tonight. I don't think getting Tony Stewart didn't get into no, it. No, I think he just was trying to stay off of uh, Mark Martin, and the car just jumped out from under him. And we've seen that several times tonight, guys, where a car on the outside coming off the corner makes your car loose, pulls the back around it. You watch his hands in there. Watch him. He'll be pretty busy. Yeah, it just starts coming around, coming around, coming around, and it's gone. Just in all that traffic, Larry. I mean, it almost looks like he didn't have the rear spoiler standing up straight enough. Well, it was straight up, but there wasn't any air getting to it, apparently. <laughs> it was going up and over. Looks like uh, Tony Sturt's the only one that's going to get uh, all tell some exposure tonight. We, uh, You don't spin him out on the straightaway. I'm pretty sure, 99% sure, he got me from behind. Uh, we had a really Oh, the, re the replay showed he didn't hit you. I don't know what happened then. It just, uh, it just got loose, so... I don't know. That's, that's all I can say. We had a really fast race car. Either something broke or I just lost it. Oh, gosh. Here we go. More trouble, guys. Tony Stewart Elliot. coming down. Elliot Stewart. Took them all. Terry Labonte. Took them all out. Dale Jarrett. Sanders in it. Tony Stewart got in it. And Mark Martin. Now, they're coming for the caution, and this will be lap 70. This should be the end of this segment. Because cautions do count. This is the segment. Kurt Busch in the 97, he will win this segment $50,000. Uh, Tony got in the back of uh, Terry Labonte. Terry Labonte. Yeah. And then they just stacked up behind him. Right. Tony tried to go under Terry Labonte and couldn't make it. I, I saw Mark Martin. I saw the white car take a, take a dive, but it was because of the wreck in front of him. Now, Dale Jarrett was in the final transfer spot when all this happened. went down into one and 
uh, got a big run on Terry on the inside and was going three wide and I backed off and got back in line and I think his spotter he told me his spotter said I was still down there and so he checked up to take care of all three of us or so he thought and it wasn't his fault I mean it was just one of those deals where he thought I was still down below him and I was behind him and when he checked up I was right behind him so uh Nah, just one of those racing things here. It was my fault that I even got us back there. Zippy told me to stay out. We had a really, really good car. And uh, I was just watching the mirror, and Jimmy Jan Johnson's lagging back and, you know, playing the games he plays. But, I mean, it's part of part of being the Winston. I mean, that's what, what makes it so exciting for everybody. Uh, you know, you, you do things like that. So, uh, you know, we just made the wrong call, and it hurt him too. <laughs> but uh, we just were – we had to fight our way back up into the top ten to try to get in that invert. And, uh, you know, I had to make some stuff happen in a pretty quick amount of time. But uh, – for everybody that thinks I spun Ryan Newman, there was about five or six feet in between me and Ryan Newman, so he can complain all he wants to. He he had been trying to wreck himself for about four laps right before <laughs> that, so he finally did it to himself there. He can, he can lay off of me.